I recently wanted to take a picture of my granddaughters, but to get them to all sit down, look at the camera, smile, be in focus, pay attention, was nearly impossible. So what I ended up doing was taking three pictures and combining them. This is a brief tutorial on how I did that. In this sequence, what I'm doing is I'm loading the pictures, the three pictures, into Photoshop. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third picture. You can see that each one is in a separate tab. Now what I will do is I pick one as the baseline and I create a new copy of it called, I call composite. And this is the base picture. Which one you pick is arbitrary. I happen to pick the one where my uh, granddaughter on the left was in focus and sort of smiling. This is the second picture and here what I do is I select the uh, the head of my second granddaughter and then I clip that using the uh, the layer mask. I clip that using the layer mask and then I copy the head into the composite, the base picture that I selected earlier. Here I just move the head into position to make sure that it's in the right place. And now I zoom in and you'll see that there's edges around the, uh, the um, area that I copied in. You can see the little lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the layer mask, which has got the black on it on the right. And then I'm going to use the paintbrush, which is also black, to basically erase the edges of the image overlaid to make it fit within the uh, so what the, what painting with a, a black pen does is it exposes the layer underneath and you can see that by doing this I have basically what looks like a pretty seamless uh, integration Now I'm going to take the third and final picture of my granddaughter on the right and I'm going to copy her head I select and then I click on the layer mask then I hit the duplicate and I copy the uh, head over this layer over to the composite the baseline picture and you can see it's approximately in the right place, but I shift it around just a bit just to make sure that it's as well aligned as possible. And again, I use the, uh, the brush, black, to erase the seam and to make the head fit a little bit better with its... Uh, the surrounding image or the image that it's overlaying.
Okay, looks done. Now what I'll do is I'll save the image, which is probably one of the more important steps. And this is the final outcome. Looks pretty good. Okay.